Hi, it's Adam from My Virtual Mission here. I'm going to show you what a workplace wellness uh, virtual mission looks like on the My Virtual Mission platform. So as you can see here, uh, we are on a mission page. This is the Sustained Nutrition Grand Canyon Challenge. Uh, and we're going to jump straight into, uh, you know, the real core essence of what a mission is. And a mission is a, uh, a pathway on a map uh, from a start point, which is up over here to a finish point which uh, is hidden behind this cluster of people um, but that's the finish line there and so for this mission this is uh, this is the Grand Canyon I'm sure we all know where that is located in the world um, and as you can see here there's a whole bunch of markers on the map now uh, for this mission people are um, participating as individuals um, so it is possible to have teams but this mission is set up as individuals and each one of these markers um, is an individual person um, along the pathway now how they got there um, was by posting um, uh, going, going for exercise and then posting a distance to the mission um, and then advancing along the pathway with every distance that they post so if they go for a, a walk around the neighborhood maybe um, maybe a couple of miles um, and then they post that distance to the mission and then they will advance a couple of miles uh, along this mission pathway um, so this person here um, is uh, at this virtual location so we just click the street view button um, and we can see that uh, this is their virtual location on street view um, which is pretty cool that's uh, that's where their marker is um, if there were other people close by then they would be able to see those other people um, on the street view uh, as well um, so yeah, the core core part of my virtual mission is that it is a map-based fitness challenge. Um, as I said, these people are uh, individuals. You can uh, have teams of people, um, and you can do. Uh, so here's here's another example. These square icons. These are teams of people. So each time a person um, from um, from their team posts a mission, um, their team marker will move along. Um, the pathway um, or you can have a super team so a super team just being one team one big team with everyone uh, who's on the mission contributing to moving that uh, marker along the pathway so there's a bunch of different ways you can structure your mission um, with this mission here you can see that people are posting distances uh, to the mission um, this example here this person is posting a distance via Strava so we connect directly with Strava um, Strava is sending us this person's activity and we've created a map of their actual real-world run um, uh, and um, you know brought in the distance and some other information and uh, posted that to uh, to the uh, to the mission um, so yeah, just back to that example. So this person posted 5.1 miles. Um, that meant that this marker here, their, their super team um, marker, moved along the pathway 5.1 miles um, when they posted that, that distance. Um, yeah, so news feed shows people's uh, distances being posted. Um, people can post their distances in a variety of ways. They can post either uh, manually by just using the app um, or the web to just manually enter a distance. Um, they can post the distance using some of the connections that we connect with, and they are currently uh, Fitbit, Strava, uh, RunKeeper, Under Armour, Apple Health, and Google Fit. Um, I will uh, show you the leaderboard here. Um, so this is the leaderboard um, which um, shows people in terms of the amount of distance I've completed. Um, leaderboards are able to be viewed uh, across three different time frames. So there's weekly, which resets every week. There's monthly, which resets every month. And then there's an all-time leaderboard, which just shows, um, you know, the leaderboard over the entire duration that it has been going for. Um, these leaderboards are really... Uh, filterable um, people can uh, you know, filter them by exercise types or by sources um, and it just helps each person be able to view the leaderboard um, exactly uh, the way that they would uh, want to view the leaderboard for example a, a runner can compare um, themselves only against other runners um, and not against say cyclists because cyclists rack up a whole bunch of um, extra uh, extra distance than, uh, than, a, than a run would um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the overview for uh, what a mission is. I hope that um, helps you gain a little bit of understanding um, about what's possible. Um, your mission can be absolutely anywhere in the world. You can start anywhere. Uh, you can finish anywhere. Uh, it can go through any location. Um, it's always good to have street views. Um, if street view isn't available um, in the location, it can be really uh, great as a uh, you know engagement tool. Um, this location doesn't have street view enabled, um, but many parts of the world do. 
Um, and as I say, your mission can be um, absolutely anything you can you can think of. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that's given you some ideas um, about uh, what your mission might look like. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we've got a series of other videos on how to set up your mission. Um, and we look forward to catching you in the next one.